purpose of this video is to document my journey in attempting to complete my own test using the proctoring service Honor Lock. This way you will have an idea of what it is like to go through that process. All right, so here we go. The first thing I'm going to ask you to do is to go to Valencia's website, valenciacollege.edu, and log into Canvas. I'm going to narrate this as I go. So I'm going to click Login. I'm going to select Valencia Online Canvas. I'm going to enter my credentials. All right, now I'm going to select my class. For the purposes of this video, I'm using my first class, the one with course reference number 30101. Okay, then I'm going to look in the file area. If the uh, menu is not visible, I can just click this little hamburger button here. I'm going to click that until it shows up so I can click Honor Lock. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a couple of things to choose from here. Uh, I am going to try this one right here. Chapter 1 and 2 test proctored for RGO. Uh, oh yes, I forgot. I have to go into uh, student mode before I can do this. Uh, if I want to know what it's like for a student to take a test, I have to tell Canvas that I want to be a student for a little while. All right, so I'm going into student view. Now I'm going to go to Honor Lock. So this is what you'll see. What I'm seeing is what you'll see. So I'm going to Honor Lock. And okay, so here's the first thing. Uh, in order to take an exam in Honor Lock, you have to use Google Chrome. So whatever physical computer, desktop, laptop you're using, you need to have Google Chrome. So make sure you have done that. You also need to enable the Google Chrome extension for Honor Lock, which it's telling me that I do not currently have. So I'm going to follow the instructions to get that. So I'm going to click I agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. I'm going to click get started. It opens a new tab. In the upper right, it says add to Chrome. So I'm going to click that. Okay, should we add Honor Lock? Yes, I'm going to click Add Extension. Okay, all right, it's been added, and it's giving me an option to do that on my other devices. I'm going to say no thank you. I'm going to close this tab and go back to where I was. Okay, so now it's updating, and it says that the extension has been added, and I'm ready to take this practice test. All right, here we go. So I'm going to click Launch on the test. Okay, so you might notice that in the upper left-hand corner, there is a little tiny tab for Honor Lock. It's got a little shield with a check mark in it. And so that tab tells me that I am now using the Honor Lock Chrome extension. And with that in mind, let me go ahead and tilt my screen just a little bit here so you can see that. All right, here we go. So now we're gonna go through the steps to actually take a test. All right, first let's read. Honor Lock instructions. Click the launch proctoring button below to begin the proctoring process. Once you have completed all of the steps, navigate to your assessment in another tab. When ready to enter the exam password, select enter password from the camera window. All right, here we go. I'm gonna launch proctoring. Notice that it resized the screen for me. So now I can grab this and move it around if I want to, but it also made clear to me uh, over here that I have something to do. Okay, it says, oops, your instructor only allows one screen during this assessment. Disconnect extra displays to continue. Remove one display to continue. Okay, so that's true. I have a dual monitor, so I'm going to turn off my second monitor and I'm going to disconnect it from my laptop here. Okay, so now it's allowing me to continue. Okay, it says, Honor Lock Proctoring. Center your face into the frame and click the Take Photo button below. All right, so my face is centered. I'm going to smile and click the button. All right, so photo has been taken. Now, usually the next thing that Honor Lock is going to ask you for is your photo ID, and it's going to scan and take a picture of your photo ID. The name on the ID needs is to match your name in Canvas. Um, I have that uh, turned off temporarily because when I log in as a student, it says that my name is uh, student view or sample student or something like that. And so since that wouldn't match my ID, I've temporarily got that turned off. But when you go in to take your test, you're going to see that you have to actually do that. All right, next thing Honor Lock is asking me to do is to do a room scan. 
So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, pick up my laptop and I'm going to scan the entire room. So let me do this. I'm going to uh, move my phone here, which is currently recording all of this. And I'm going to turn it towards here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you can see my whole setup now. So what you want to do at this point is you want to pick up your device, your desktop uh, or your laptop camera, and you want to do a thorough scan. You want to show me everything that's in the room with you. So let's, uh, let's do a scan of the desk here so we can see that I don't have any, any inappropriate materials on my desk. I'm going to do a spin around to show you that there's no math on my walls. I'm not violating any of the class rules or procedures here. When I take my test, it's only going to be my brain that's contributing towards this exam. Okay, super. So that 360 degree scan is done. There is no one in the room with me. I'm going to take this exam completely by myself and everything is going to be great. All right, so now that I've done that, do you like this tour of my office? All right, so now that I've done that, let's come back to the instructions here. Okay, it looks like we're 25% of the way through. All right, so room scan is done. Uh, apparently I did not click the button begin room scan before I did all of that. Oops. All right, so I'll click the button begin room scan. Okay, room scan starting in three, two, one, zero. Okay, so now I'm gonna move all of this around and I'm going to show the world that I have nothing inappropriate going on here. You've already seen me do that, so I'm just gonna temporarily set this aside and do my room scan. All right, so this is my desk. There's nothing on it. This is the other parts of my room. You can see my walls. You can see that I have no math anywhere. I'm not cheating on my test. Okay, room scan, done. Next, it says, make sure to show your desk area and any scratch paper. Okay, well, I definitely have some scratch paper. So I'm going to show my scratch paper here. So I anticipate needing two pieces of paper to take this test. So here's my first piece of paper and you can see that it is blank. There's no writing on it on either side. Here's my second piece of paper and it's blank. There's no writing on it on either side. Okay, now I'm gonna click I'm done. Okay, next. Does your room scan clearly show your testing environment? Oh, this is interesting. So if you find that you didn't do a good enough job there, then it gives you a chance to do it again. All right, well, we're just gonna say, yes, we did a good enough job here and move on. Okay, the next thing it says is, click launch screen recording to begin recording your screen. And there's an arrow here that says share screen, launch screen recording, okay. So I'm gonna launch screen recording, so anything that's on this screen is now being recorded. Share your entire screen. Honorlock wants to share the contents of your screen with app.honorlock.com. Choose what you'd like to share. Okay, well, let's see if I can make this window a little bit bigger so I can see exactly what we're talking about here. So yeah, so I'm gonna click on this and that's what I'm going to share. That looks like the screen that I'm going to be sharing. So there we go, I've clicked it. 
All right, looks like I'm halfway through the authentication process. Okay, next, it says access the exam. You're ready to take your exam. Navigate to your exam provider, My Math Lab. And it said before in the instructions that I have to do this in a new tab. Uh, navigate to the specific exam, and when you are prompted to enter a password, click on the Insert Password button in the Honor Lock webcam window. If you need assistance, click here. To relaunch the camera window, click here. And then there's some instructions from the professor. Okay, so let's just read that. Uh, this is a closed notes exam. Using your ebook or textbook is not allowed. Use of websites other than My Math Lab is not allowed. Use of apps is not allowed. You may use two sheets of scratch paper, but you must show them to the camera to prove they are blank on both sides. You must remain in front of your computer for the duration of the exam or your score will not count. No bathroom breaks. Cell phones, tablets, smartwatches, and any other devices that can access the internet are not permitted. Failing to follow these instructions could result in a violation, in which case your score will not count. The only things you are permitted to use are pencil and eraser or erasable pen, blank scratch paper, scientific calculator with no graphing capabilities, and your brain. Good luck. All right, so here we go. I'm going to go to my math lab. I'm going to sign in. I'm going to select my class, which is, for the purposes of this video, 30101. I'm going to go to Assignments. I'm going to find the practice exam, the one that says for RGO. That's really great outcomes. Okay, this test is password protected. Enter password. So now is the moment when I go back to my little window here and it says insert password. So I'm going to click the insert password button and it puts the password in for me. Oh, look at that. That's pretty slick. All right. And it says begin your assessment. Good luck. And I notice now that there is a counter going on saying that this is being recorded live. So all of, all of my actions are being recorded right now. And I think I'm ready to start my exam. Let's see how I would do that. Uh, I'm gonna click submit. I assume that means to submit the password. Okay, that sounds good. Are you ready to start? Chapter one and two test proctored, 21 questions. Yes, I'm ready to start. Okay, here we go. Question number one. It says, you are taking a proctored online test. If you have not already done so, show your approved calculator to the camera. Well, I haven't done that yet, so I'll do that right now. My approved calculator is this calculator. It's the TI-30XS Multiview. So I'm going to show that to the camera, that that is the calculator that I'm using, is the TI-30XS Multiview. That's the one I want you to use. Okay, next, if you have not already done so, show the camera how many pages of scrap paper you have. We did that. Uh, position your face so that it's visible to the camera. We're good. I can see that over here. I can still see my face. Uh, if you've not already done so, showed your valid photo ID to the camera. All right, well, normally you would have already done that. I had to skip that step just for this uh, action temporarily. Uh, rotate your camera 360 degrees, scanning your environment. We did that. Um, disconnect any additional displays. Yes, we did that. Okay, it says if you do not do these things, your exam score will not count. Once you have done these things, click the radio button to indicate you're ready to move on. So I'm going to click, I'm ready to move on. And then I need to adjust my screen here. Hmm, interesting. Now there's no button. Let me, let me see here. I think I may have to adjust this. There's no, I can't see the little arrow in the lower right hand corner and that's gonna be a problem. I need to be able to submit this test. I don't wanna submit the test because that's gonna be the entire test. What I need to do is to get the little arrow down here to show up. Maybe if I click this little minus button temporarily. Yep, that was the key. Okay, so click the little minus button 
and then we can see the arrow down here that allows us to move on to the next question. Okay, this is going to be a really useful video for everybody to watch. You can see all of the, the difficulties that I'm having. All right, great. So here we go. Here's our very first question of our test. Uh, find the real solutions of the following equation. Okay, great. So I'm going to see if I can solve this in my head. Won't that be interesting to have you witness me trying to do? All right, so I'm going to add 5 to both sides, so then the right side will be 3. Then I'll cube both sides, which makes it 27. I'll add both uh, 3 to both sides, which makes it 30. And then I'll divide both sides by 3, which makes it 10. So the answer should be 10. Let me check it. 3 times 10 is 30, minus 3 is 27, cube root of 27 is 3, and 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Yep, that's it. 10 is the answer. So I'm going to plug in 10. And then in the lower right-hand corner, the little arrow button. All right, next question. x equals 11 times the square root of x. Mm, that one's a harder one. All right, so if I square both sides, I'll have x squared equals 121x. So x squared minus 121x equals 0. So 0 is one of the solutions. Separate answers by a comma. Okay, so let's see here. x squared minus 121x. So I factor out an x, it'll be x minus 121. So I think the other answer is 121. All right, let's check it. Uh, if I replace both x's with 0, I'd get 0 on both sides, so that works. If I replace both x's with 121, then on the right, I'd have 11 times the square root of 121, which is 11 times 11, which is 121. So that should work. So that should be the right answer for that one. All right, on we go. All right, and I'm not going to do this whole test. That would be silly. Uh, but so what I've got now is uh, three questions done. Of course, the first one was just the, are you following the rules here? And so I'm going to move on. So I'm going to go ahead and pretend I finished the whole test. I'm going to pretend I finished the last question. And then in the upper right-hand corner here, I'm going to click Submit Test. Uh, one thing you might notice is that there is a time limit of the exam. The time limit is two hours for this exam. Uh, there's no countdown clock. Um, it's just telling me the amount of time that I have. So if you want to track your time, that's something that you should do manually on your own. All right, here we go. Submit Test. You have not completed your assignment. You still have 18 unanswered questions. Are you insane? Yes, I'm insane. Submit test. Okay, so obviously I didn't do too well. Uh, the only questions I got right were 1, 2, and 3, so my score is a 10% on this exam. Uh, the 0.04 comes from getting this very first question uh, right. It's not going to contribute very much to the overall exam score. Most of your exam score will come from questions 2 through 21. All right, and then if I want to, I can review the test can go over the questions and what I got right and what I got wrong and all of that. And I'm not going to go through that in this video because that's not necessary. All right, proctored session submitted. You can now close this page, click below to remove the extension and uninstall honor lock. Uh, I've got other tests to take this semester, so I'm not going to uninstall honor lock. I'm going to leave it installed on my device. I'm just going to click X and exit out of this and X to exit out of this window, and there we go. I did it, I took a test. Now the only thing I need to do is go in there and see if uh, all of the instructions were followed correctly. And I will do that maybe in another video.